are supplying the renewables, whether it's wind, solar, and others. And for us, just to give the example, when we started in wind, when we got into the wind business back in 2002, till date we have spent almost a billion dollars just investing in the technology. Without having um, a clear market, a sizable market, without having clarity on policy, we would not be investing that kind of uh, money. So I think the first point I would make is that from GE, I think we are continually investing in technology. We've been, been investing in technology for the last 130 years, and we will continue to do so as long as there's long-term policy certainty, um, especially associated with renewables. I think the key challenge for us today as a, as a company is we're looking at renewables in, in the offshore wind space. So we are uh, looking at making a sizable investment in the UK uh, in order to, to uh, capitalize on the opportunity. Recently, the UK has announced that they are uh, their recent energy market reforms, which they have some new ideas in terms of how they would uh, provide the, the subsidy or a different mechanism other than the rock mechanism. And for example, that's one that I go back to, to your point earlier, causes some question marks, I think, in terms of the eyes of investors or customers that want to buy our uh, technology in terms of the, the long-term viability or at least the, the certainty uh, on, on the subsidy scheme. So, so that's one example which is obviously of concern to us. But having said that, I, I think for us, we are very much looking at technology being reliable, cost-effective, and, and most definitely affordable. Um, and that's what we would like to do with, with offshore. Um, we've done it. I think the industry has, has, seen, has seen a step change in the, in the onshore uh, technology in terms of doing that, so we, we would like to do that. The other point I'd like to make as well, going back to, to, uh, to offshore specifically, and why it's important to work with the regions is because we have to face into the practical realities of what it takes to make these investments. Um, so, for example, when we started looking at, at setting up a, a manufacturing facility in the UK, we, we were uh, faced with the reality of what is the current port infrastructure, as one example, and whether that was adequate for us to have a facility. Uh, but I think working with the regions, that's something that we, we can address um, and without obviously funding as well from the regions in order to upgrade that port infrastructure, we would not be able uh, to, to invest. Um, from an infrastructure perspective as well, I think we, we recognize that the regions have a very important role to play uh, 